After watching today's video, you will never need to search on YouTube again for how to play Free Fire on a 1GB RAM PC or best Android emulator for low-end PC. In today's video, we won't be talking about Android emulators or Android OS instead. We will use software that allows you to run Android apps even on PCs that are 10 years old. The system requirements for this software are as follows. You need to have Windows XP, Pentium 4 processor, 512 MB of RAM, and no need for a graphics card. Additionally, you need an Android phone. Let's get started with the video. The name of this software is TC Games, and it's 84 MB in size. This is a cracked version, so you get all the features unlocked. First, you need to install this software on your PC. As you can see, it has been successfully installed in my PC. During the installation, make sure your internet is turned off, otherwise, it will show an error. Now, you need to install this software on your mobile device. Simply go to the Play Store, search for TC Games, and install it. I've already installed it. Next, you need to go to your mobile settings. In settings, go to About Phone and tap on build number 5 to 10 times. This will enable the developer options. Inside developer options, you need to enable the USB debugging option. In the next step, simply launch TC Games on your mobile device and connect it to your PC using a data cable. Now, you need to launch TC Games on your PC. As you can see, my mobile is connected to my PC. You can now configure some basic settings. You'll notice that VIP membership is activated in this software. If you wish, you can also maximize all these settings, but I will leave all these settings as default. Now let's test a game. So, friends, that's today's video. If this video is even slightly helpful to you, please like it, and let's reach 100 subscribers as soon as possible. Your subscriptions give me a lot of motivation. I'll see you in the next video. If you want to install Android OS on a low NP, see you can watch the video on the left. Finally, I'd like to say thanks for watching.